Hi everyone, I am Johani Papandayan Bolt and I'm going to discuss about learning theories related to educational technology. In my discussion, uh, it will answer what is learning, how do we learn, and technology utilization. So first, let's answer what is learning. Learning, it is a process of acquiring, remembering, and applying skills, knowledge, attitudes, and other mo modes of response. It also involves relatively permanent change in behavior or knowledge as a result of an experience or practice. So yun nga, learning is acquiring uh, knowledge that uh, the teachers uh, are uh, teaching to the students. So as a student, you are uh, also learning like remembering and acquiring knowledge from the discussion of the teachers and uh, uh, it also involves the change of behavior like um, if my ed discuss yung teacher mo na matutunan mo na it will it can also apply into your uh, self and uh, daily living in this part, it can answer the question, how do we learn? So, uh, these are the learning theories. First, behaviorism. Second, cognitivism. And third, constructivism. Behaviorism, theory of animal and human learning that focuses on objectively observable uh, behaviors and discount mental abilities so these are the types of behaviorism the first one is classical conditioning the second one is behavioral operant conditioning so uh, this is the um, example of classical conditioning so pavlov observation that dogs salivate when they eat or even see food so first before conditioning Kapag magpakita ka ng pagkain sa isang aso, ang response niya is magsasalivate siya. So, that is called unconditioned response. So, kapag naman mag-ring ka ng bell, tapos marinig ng aso, that is called uh, no conditional response. Kasi uh, aanhin naman niya yung ring ng bells, ring ng bell kung wala namang makitang food. So yun nga, ito, it, dito mag-appear yung during conditioning. Nakapag mag-ring ka ng bell na may dala kang food, diretso siyang mag-re-response uh, ng uh, salivation. So that is called the uh, unconditioned response also. So, uh, the after conditioning na magbebel ka ng uh, magriring ka ng bell diretso magsasalivate yung aso kasi uh, na uh, before nagring ka ng bell with food so uh, kapag nakakarinig siya ng bell uh, maiisip niyang diretso na bibigyan mo siya ng food so that is the pavlov conditioning and uh, this is the example of behavioral operant conditioning this is the B.F. Skinner's operant conditioning. So, uh, specific consequences are associated with a voluntary behavior. So, uh, kapag nilagay mo yung uh, uh, mouse sa isang box na kumbaga maglalagay ka ng isang... Uh, magpupush lang siya ng button tapos biglang may lalabas na food... That is uh, the point na um, maiisip niya na kapag pinupush niya yung uh, button na yun, may lalab uh, diretsong may lalabas na food. So that is the behavioral uh, operant conditioning. The following are relevant educational technology which can be used. First one, observation of learners, selecting stimulus, can help elicit the outcomes, uh, can be used in behavioral approaches and uh, technology to promote motivation, classroom management, and special education. And also, these are the possible learning activities in behaviorism. First is the instructional cues to elicit correct response. So, dito, dito naman, nag-apply dito yung mga signs sa mga 
basketball, volleyball na may mga hand signs sila which is may mga meaning yon na uh, may nagawang behavior yung isang tao sa court mismo nila. The second one is reinforcement for correct responses. For example, nag-ask ka sa mga students mo ng question tapos na-answer nila ng correct, uh, dapat magpakita ka ng uh, positive response like magsasabi ka ng very good para in the next question, may confident na silang mag-answer ng mga question mo. And the last one is building proficiency. Then, let's proceed to cognitivism. Uh, it focuses on the brain. Nagpo-focus siya sa ating utak. And it involves processing and storing information which are uh, very important in the process of learning. So, uh, cognitivism, ito, uh, dito yung nagpo-process ng mga uh, information or learning na uh, na-acquire mo sa teacher mo. So, these are the relevance of cognitivism to educational technology. First, uh, conduct task analysis and learner analysis. Second, create tests. And the last one is create learning materials according to any of the instructional design models. Uh, con uh, constructivism, learning is an active process in which learners construct new ideas or concepts uh, based upon their current or past knowledge, social interactions, and motivation which affect the construction of knowledge, social interaction, and motivation. Sa constructivism naman na uh, na-apply mo dito yung mga past uh, learnings mo na... Um, uh, kumbaga mag-construct ka ng new learning uh, new learning and uh, new ideas so technology utilization so these are the principles of effective instruction as educators it is important to consider how to engage learners in their assess prior knowledge consider individual differences state the objective develop metacognitive skills provide a social interaction incorporate a realistic context Engage students in a relevant practice and offer frequent, timely, and constructive feedback. And these are the principles of effective technology utilization. Teachers are expected to be competent in the use of technology in their teaching. Uh, as a teacher, you will, uh, you will be expected to enhance students' abilities to engage in the use of technology to support their learning. The principles of effective media utilization, uh, your teaching approach uh, should provide students with opportunities to explore how to use these media resources to communicate their uh, knowledge. So, these are the principles of effective text utilization. Uh, text is everywhere in students' learning. Uh, deciding, uh, I mean, designing good text-based materials involves a few basic elements. First is the font choice. Remember to select a clear font that helps learners to read the information. Next, the second is, uh, one the background is background and, and patterns. patterns. So when putting text, use backgrounds that are not busy with distracting images. So, dapat uh, kung uh, may maganda kang font, dapat yung uh, background mo naman, hindi yung nakakagulo sa mata ng mga students mo, yung nakakaingan yung uh, tignan ng mga students mo. So, yun yung gamitin mong background. The next one is the arrangement. Use space, text styles, and heading to help your learners find information quickly and easily. So, dapat arrange yung uh, ginawa mo para hindi uh, magkagulo or uh, magulong tignan at uh, madaling, uh, ma madaling maintindihan ng students mo. Last one is check and revise. Always be sure to proofread your materials. So, um, kapag natapos mo na lahat, um, check and if may mga mali ka, i-revise mo para uh, walang mali sa ipapresent mo. 
using text materials. Uh, get learners actively involved with the materials. One technique is to have students use the SQ3R. This uh, method is the survey, question, read, recite, and review. That's all for my discussion about a learning uh, uh, learning theories related to educational technology. Uh, that's all. Thank you.